Uh, just a few more things on some drawing basics. I sh showed how to draw rectangles and use some simple color in the previous video. If I click and hold this rectangle, I can actually get other shapes. So if I go to the ellipse tool, that's how I draw a circle. Now when I first click and hold, we can see I can actually draw any sort of ellipse. But just like the square, if I click and hold shift, I can get a perfect circle. And if I click, if I click and hold shift and press ALT, I'll actually draw from the center point. So oftentimes that is a, a great way to draw a circle. Again, that's not anything I really want, but um, that's how you would do that. Lastly, if, um, if you want to draw a non-perfect shape, in the tool I use most often when I'm drawing an illustrator is actually the pen tool. And the pen tool, again, there's, there's lots of videos that show more in depth about this, but I can really click anywhere on the screen and uh, get any shape I want. And if you know what you're doing, which is just clicking and holding, I can turn those lines into curves just like that. So again, the same color technique that I used in the last video, I can use on any of these circles or these shapes. I just can come over here, select on a different color, uh, and change the, the colors of the lines, and select the line weights sort of the same way to get sort of any shape I want. So with that, that's how I did sort of tracing of the buildings and, and some of these some of these existing buildings that we see in some of these diagrams that I've looked at before. I would have just went in and I would have just made uh, the color selection I wanted, went to pen tool and I can trace out this building which is not one that I kept in my previous project but it's easy to see on the screen so I'm just going to use it. So I'm just going to use my pen tool and click on all four points and sort of trace that out. Set the line weight to something I think that looks good which is obviously that was too thick and uh, you know I can flip the colors around like that. I think I did it maroon interior and black outline so I'll just sort of do the same thing. And so simple shapes that's what you do. Pen tool is a great tool for most everything. It's really simple to go and do. In the next steps we'll look at some of the more diagramming techniques of, of uh, how to get line weights and various um, other effects.